Hi friends, welcome to Time Python series. In this video, in, we are going to talk about how to create a grid of multiple subplots inside a single figure using matplotlib. So the end result would be something like this. So in a single figure, you are going to plot multiple subplots as a grid. It's really simple guys. You just have to use plt.subplots and you mention the rows and columns of how many subplots you want. Suppose in this case, I had three rows and two columns. So I just said plt.subplots n rows equal to 3 and n columns equal to 2 and constraint layout equal to 2 will take care of all the spacing so this is really simple guys so let's get started with the demo so I'm going to take a blank folder I'm going to open it with VS code I'm going to create a new file I'm going to name it like index.py first I'm going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt so now important matplotlib.pyplot and I have aliased it as plt so that I can use it easily in my code. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a canvas with some subplots. So if I want to create subplots like three rows and two columns, so what I'll do is plt dot subplots and here I'm going to mention number of rows equal to three and number of columns equal to two and I will say constraint layout. equal to true and then this returns the handles of the figure and the axis handles of the subplots so here the figure is the handle for the whole figure and the axs the axis is the handle for the array of axis so the shape of axis would be an array with three rows and two columns so it's a two dimensional array. If you want to get to know about the terminology of matplotlib subplots and figure and all those, I've created a video on introductory matplotlib plotting and I'll leave the link of that video in the description of this video. All right, now let's set the title of this figure. I'll just write figure dot super title. So it, it will set the title of this whole figure. So it will be something like figure title. And then let me try to just show the plot just now, okay. So what I did was I have created plt.subplots and I have set three rows, two columns and I said constraint layout equal to two so the spacing will be taken care of and I am giving the title to the whole figure and I am telling you to show the plot. So let me try to run this and here you got just by a single line of code n rows equal to three and n columns equal to two you got three rows and two columns and I have set the figure title also here. All right. Now let's try to create headings for each of the subplot. So how can you access the subplot? So suppose I want to access the leftmost, the first one. So I'll just write axs of 0, 0 dot set title and here you just set the title of this axis. And I'll write 0, 0 axis axis. And here I'll just copy the same thing and I'll just show you how the naming how the how to access each of the uh, subplot axis. I'll write 0 through first column and here 0 comma 1 axis and the first row 0 column first row first column second row first column and the second row 0 column all right so I've set the title for each of the axes so that you can see what is the position of each of the axes. So let me try to run this and show you how it looks like. Here you can see if you say axs of 0 comma 0, it will be the left axis, leftmost axis. So this is the axis which is of position 0 comma 0. And if you say 0 comma 1, this is the 0 comma 1 axis. This is the 1 comma 0, 1 comma 1, 2 comma 0 and 2 comma 1. So basically if you want to access a row say this row so this is second row that means index 1 so ax is of 1 and this is the in in column wise this is the first column that means 0th column so ax is of 1 0 so if you want to access this plot and plot data into it you should write ax is of 1 0 so let's try to plot some data in this 1 comma 0 axis so if you want to plot the axis in the second row first column so you just have to write axis of second row means index 1 first column means index 0 dot plot and here you just have to give some data now I have taken some data 
x1 y1 and something like arrays to plot some x and y data so if this is list of x and this is list of y values so i will write here plot of x1 comma y1 so what i did was i have taken the handle which means index 1 and index 0 second row means index 1 first column means index 0 and i plot some data which is a list of x values and y values here so if i save this and run this you can see I have plotted data on this same way I can plot multiple line plots. I have even made a video on plotting multiple line plots in a single plot. It's really simple guys. You just have to run this dot plot again on that. So I am I'm running the dot plot function again on the same axis. So I have to get two lines now. So let me try to save and run this. You can see I have created two lines in the same axis. So using this axis indexing, you can actually locate an axis and target that and plot data into it. So let's try to plot on the last third row and second column. How can you do that? Third row means index 2 for the row and second column means index 1 and this plot some data like x1, y1. Okay. So now let's see how it looks like. I just run this. You can see I plot into the third row and second column. Third row means index 2, second column means index one so that's why i got the data into this one x1 y1 so this is how you can plot multiple subplots inside a single figure and plot data into it it's really simple you just have to use plt dot subplots of n rows and n columns and access each of the axes using this indexing method based upon the row index and the column index that's it guys you can see i've created a blog post on creating multiple subplots as a grid inside a single figure in this blog post you can even copy this example and practice it in your own computer so be sure to check out this blog post and I will give the link of this blog post in the description of this video. That's it for this video guys. And in the upcoming videos, I'm going to show you about how to create multiple subplots but without grid. You can even specify the dimensions of each of the subplots so that it can be something like this also. And in the upcoming video, I will show you how to create a subplot inside a plot. So basically, you can create a small plot inside a big plot. So be sure to check out my next videos also. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching guys.